Back onto the all weather for race number eight, our second and final visit to the dirt. It's a class three over the 1650, 12 go to post, headed by Bear Slam, who's a two time course and distance winner. Elite patch fourth over the 1650 behind Chang Cheng Prince. Same race in actual fact that Bear Slam came out of last time. True legend has also bumped into Chang Cheng Prince on his last two starts, as has Ultra Express finishing second to him last time out. Crossford, the pacifier, goes on as he makes his first visit to the all weather here in Hong Kong. Sky Supreme should roll forward from barrier number six. Party every day was a winner last uh, time out in class four, a three time course and distance winner, and down to Super Win Dragon. Fourth on his last two starts, he gets up from the 12 to the 16.50, though, Mark. Still can't draw a gate, poor old Super Win Dragon. He's out to 12 again. Sky Supreme, we know he likes to lead. True Legend's been keeping him company of late. Gold Comet, Harmony Spirit, racing in pairs, party every day. Ultra Express, Patchy Pass, Bear Slam. Righteous Doctrine, Crossford, Elite Patch and Super Wind Dragon. So uh, racing in twos in race eight. Plenty of key races uh, to get through here. We'll start off, uh, Paul, with Harmony Spirit. This is him finishing third last amount, so obviously on the turf, uh, but he's uh, he's been on the weather plenty of times in the past. Yeah, and, and look, a couple of uh, placings on this uh, surface as well, uh, particularly behind Manstar, was pretty good. So he does like it. He's drawn awkwardly in barrier 10. That was just uh, put me off a bit. Yeah, me too. He was uh, a horse that should be competitive. That's far for a meaningful star, who did disappoint on Wednesday night, meaningful star, but... Being beaten a length by far, far, there's nothing wrong with that form. OK, that stands up. True legend uh, fares best uh, here, Mark. Obviously, um, a lot of these horses reopposing uh, once more. This was one of the, the Cheng Cheng Prince uh, runs. He was fantastic this night, mm. Cheng Cheng Prince. He was three wide the trip and was still too good for them. True legend's a win and two placings at his last three starts. He's got a wider draw this week, Paul, but if... The speed map has him and Sky Supreme getting across and being in spots one and two with Sky Supreme drawn six. Might be able to get across cheaply and join him, so got him in for sure. Yeah, no, he goes in. He's, he's really um, sort of thrived on the surface. All three runs have been good, so, yeah, he's one of the main chances for me. OK, and we're going to have a look at Ultra Express, this time filling second spots, uh, but again behind... Chang Chang Prince. This is the start before in actual fact, Paul. Again, a true legend party every day. The list goes on. He got really pushed back um, on the turn, this horse. Um, and once he got into the clear, he really stretched out nicely. I thought it was a really good run from him. He's got barrier number one. This was his first start on the all weather. He's by power, and we've seen that breed go really well on the surface before. Uh, look, I think he's the one to bet. Got him in for sure. Barry number one, short run to the first turn. This was a really rain affected track this day. It won't be come Saturday afternoon and the horse that beat him is absolutely flying and the horse that ran fourth was also a recent winner party every day. He certainly was. Uh, Crossford so uh, much. It's his third start here in Hong Kong. Uh, first one just OK. This was an improvement though last time out. It was. Keen to see what he can do here coming to the your weather because he has one on the Tapita at Newcastle over the 1400 metres. Also one over the 1600 at Newmarket. Zach gets on board too, uh, Paul. So... Like Andrew, I'm just interested to see what he does at his third start. Yeah, and look, pacifies on him from barrier five. So there's a few positives with this horse. Uh, look, I think he's still learning his caper here. He's still only a three-year-old, is uh, Crossford. But uh, look, I've included him. Charlie Hill's trained him in the UK. Same name he raced under um, there. Here is uh, the run, Paul, of party every day with his, uh, his win. Uh, we saw him running behind Chang Cheng Prince, but he came out and got the job done last time. Yeah, it was a nice win from him too, didn't he? He sort of said a little bit handier than he normally does and hit the line very strongly. He has to go up in grade now, so he comes back up to class three. Uh, he's got a nice draw, barrier number four. The other thing is he is back to 16.50. I just don't... I know he's run well over it before, but the 1800 really suited him here. This is a lovely ride by Matthew Chadwick, too, to slot him in from the wide gate. Barrier four helps, but he's yet to win up in this grade. He's placed three from nine in class three. Have him in on a minor line. OK, competitive race. Paul, Ultra Express, the favourite, though. Yeah, I'm going to go with him. I just thought it was a really good debut run on the all-weather. Uh, and with any bit of luck from Barry number one, I think he can feature. So he's on top. Uh, True Legend. Ultra Express did beat True, True Legend uh, in that race. We did see that. They ran second and third behind Chang Chen Prince. So True Legend uh, goes in for second. Crossford uh, coming to the surface for the first time. And Super Wind Dragons won, run a couple of nice falls since he's got onto the surface. It's drawn wide again. I think he'll get back and do something similar. 5, 4, 8 and 12. Going to stick with Apache Pass at the each way. Was with him last time on the turf when he just pulled so hard and the bit went through his mouth and he failed to finish. He trialled really well leading into that race. He's gone back to Chung Far and trialled well again. He's had two of them, a second to Computer Patch and a win over Team Spirit. It's not an easy race. Ultra Express is beautifully placed. True Legends racing well and party every day. 
Um, key with him is he's being able to be ridden a lot handy to the speed and it seems to be working well. Six, five, four and ten. Five and eight, my top two there. And with Mark, though, as far as Apache Pass is concerned, I thought it was a really good trial, so have a look at that if you get a chance. That's race eight, class three on the all-weather over the 1650.